Hi everyone. Today we are going to talk about using commas in a series. Here are a few things you need to know. When I say the word series, I am talking about three or more items that are the same type. So for example, fish, cat, dog. Those are three or more items that are the same type because they are all pets. Um, I might say February, March, April. Those are three or more items that are the same type because they are all months. Now what I'm going to do when I have three or more items and I want to list them, I'm going to use commas and a conjunc conjunction. Now a conjunction is a linking word and some examples are some examples of conjunctions are and or or. These are examples of conjunctions. Now, for today we're going to focus a lot on the conjunction and. With commas in a series, you are being able to list the items in one sentence. You use commas and a conjunction to list the items. And I'm going to give you some examples because this is really hard stuff. So my items are whipped cream, hot fudge, sprinkles. Whipped cream, hot fudge, sprinkles. Those are all items of the same type because they're all things you might put on ice cream. Now if I wanted to use these in a sentence and list them, here is how I would do it. Here's my sentence. I had ice cream with whipped cream, hot fudge, and sprinkles. Look what I did. I did my first item, whipped cream, and then I put a comma after it. The comma is an orange. So I listed my first item and put a comma. Then I listed my second item and put a comma, hot fudge. Then I used the conjunction and, and then I put my third item. So I have whipped cream, comma, hot fudge, comma, and sprinkles. Here is how you use commas to list things. I listed whipped cream, hot fudge, and sprinkles in one sentence. Here's another example. My items are board game, teddy bear, jewelry, jewelry kit. These are things you might have at home. Now, if I was going to use them in a sentence and list the items with commas, here is what I would do. I have a board game, teddy bear, and jewelry kit at home. I listed my first item, board game, and I put a comma after it. See the comma in orange. Then I listed my second item, teddy bear, and I put a comma after it. I use the conjunction and, and there's my third item, jewelry kit. So one sentence, but I listed the three items, board game, teddy bear, and jewelry kit. And I use commas to separate them. So now we're gonna look at page 50 in your packet. And we're gonna look at number one. Now on page 50, they're giving you three different sentences. But what they want you to do is they want you to take those three sentences and move it into one sentence, but list the items with commas. We're going to do number one together. And it's okay that this is hard. This is some hard stuff. Here's what number one says on page 50. John's shirt was blue. It was also green. It also had white on it. That's three different sentences. We don't need three different sentences about the colors on John's shirt. We can take that and we can take the colors and we can put it in one sentence and list them. So my three colors are going to be blue, green, white. Those are my, those are my items in the series. Blue, green, white. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write a new sentence and I'm going to use commas to separate them. So for number one, this is what you could have. John's shirt was blue, green, and white. So I listed blue, put my comma, green, put my comma. I have my conjunction and, and then I have the word white, my last color. John's shirt was blue, green, and white. 
This is what you could do for number one. Now for number, we're gonna, sw we're gonna move to number three because number two, you can't really read. So for number three, I'm gonna give you like a minute to do it and then I'm gonna show you what I would do. So for number three, this is what the, this is what the packet says. One of her cats is named Sparky, another is named Fluffy, there is one named Pete. Think of the three items you're listing and then make it into one sentence. Take a minute and try this out. So you should have figured out that the three items are the names. Sparky, Fluffy, Pete. That's what you're going to be listing with your commas. So here's what I got. And it's okay if your sentence looks a little different. She has three cats named Sparky, Fluffy, and Pete. So I listed Sparky, I put my comma, Fluffy, put my comma, I have my conjunction and, and then I have the last name, Pete. So I took those three sentences and I made it into one sentence with commas separating the names. Okay, now that you've done one and three, now you can do numbers four and five on page 50. You're listing the items in a series with commas and that conjunction. Thank you for watching everyone.